RollerCoopMonday.com for everything RollerCoopMonday related. RollerCoopMonday.com. Happy Monday, every Monday. I am live with you right here, hanging out, talking RollerCoopMonday with you. And uh, let's start off today's live broadcast with the most important question. How many days till your next Royal Caribbean cruise? Type it in chat. We'll count down together. I am so excited. Six more days till Mariner of the Seas. Six, less than a week. I'll be getting on board Mariner of the Seas. And that alone is exciting. But on top of that, it's going to be the Royal Caribbean blog group cruise, which I really am so excited for. Perfect opportunity to share a cruise with my friends. And uh, boy, am I excited for this one. Uh, but I'm looking forward to seeing your countdowns as well. We already had a super chat to begin the broadcast with, actually, even before it began. Uh, oops. Hold on a second. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. It's from Desiree. Uh, okay. That one undo. This one show. There we go. Desiree, thank you for the super chat. A coffee cup with the words tired. That was me today, Desiree. It was like I had a case of the Mondays. And I'd have uh, two cups of coffee today. Holy moly, Josh Carruthers with an epic slap your grandma. It's that good of a super chat. Woo! Happy cruise week, six days till the Royal Green Blog Group cruise on Mariner and seven days till Earl's Redemption. Nice. Dude, Josh, my boy, thank you so much for uh, for that amazing. I mean, you're, you're always super generous with the super generous to begin with, but look at that. Wow. Wowie, wow, wow. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, what Dino said. Wow, Josh. Indeed. Indeed. Thank you, sir. Very, 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 very kind of you. We're also here to uh, at wow times two, right? Uh, we're also here to answer your Royal Caribbean cruise questions, so please type your questions in chat. Let's answer your cruise questions, talk some Royal Caribbean with all of you. Ron Ladowski, what's going on? Try to kill it in the house. Adam Klein is here. Becca is joining us as well. Jenny Bogue, welcome. Good to have you all here. Uh, Dino has our first question of the night. Going on a cruise September, and I have a waitress that I have been in contact with after she surfaced on our last cruise. It's possible we can request him. Well, waitress? or well, It doesn't matter. Uh, the short answer is yes. I'm not sure if you're in traditional dining or not. If you're in traditional dining, what you'd want to do is, uh, I don't know if you could do it in advance. I'd have to get, you'd have to go down to the, to the dining room on day one, speak to the head waiter and ask to, if, for maybe a table change to, to, for that to work. If you're in my time dining, it's a little bit easier provided, of course, actually, this is the bigger question. Which dining rotation is your waiter in? Is the waiter in my time or traditional? But with a request, the head waiter is who you want to speak with for that one. So uh, suffice to say, Dino, when you get on board the ship, go to the main dining room like after lunch, like 1 o'clock or so. Ask to speak to the head waiter, and they can help you out over there. Mike Pastore in the house. Up, Mike, hope you're doing well. Uh, Chris from Detroit in the house. Uh, Adventures of Mary and B. Going on a back-to-back -back cruise in Fort Lauderdale, Miami. Is the Odyssey O2 Oasis trip in November hard to do? No, I mean, Fort Lauderdale, without traffic, it's about a 20, 30-minute drive, maybe. Um, I don't think it's hard to do. It's really traffic. It's most of the issue. You just get all your luggage, go through the whole process. Um, but uh, no, I would say the biggest issue for you, Adventures, is going to be the COVID test. Uh, while Royal Caribbean doesn't do COVID tests anymore for back-to-backs, like on the same ship, I'm not, I don't recall what the policy is for someone like yourself is doing a side-to-side, -side, which is what it's called when you um, do two ships back uh, you know, after each other, but different, different ships. So, um, yeah, hope that makes sense. Eric Dobkin, we live, we live, baby. Uh, Sherry, thank you for the super chat. Hello, Matt. We're 48 days from Harmony. Is there a specific time that the check-ins start? Oh, it is at midnight technically. So 45 days out. I'll be honest with you, Sherry. I never wake up at midnight or never stay up till midnight to do that. Just, I do it the next morning, but it will technically midnight Eastern time. It will begin opening up, but my advice, unless you're up at midnight to begin with, more power to you. But if you're like, if this is going to be you on the struggle bus to make it to midnight, don't do that. Just wake, just wake up the next morning. Do it at 9 a.m. or whenever you can in the morning. You'll have plenty of good times over there. So uh, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you, Sherry. JG with the super chat. Thank you. What is a good duration for a cruiser, uh, for a first-time cruiser? Great question. Um, I always recommend, JG, and thank you for the super chat. For a first-time cruiser, I recommend a seven-night cruise on either an Oasis or Quantum class ship. So Wonder of the Seas, Odyssey of the Seas, Anthem of the Seas, Harmony of the Seas, Seven Nights. Short cruises just are over too quickly. You don't get a good sense of like what it's all about between port days and sea days. Seven Nights, Oasis or Quantum class ship. Uh, Dave was able to do the online check-in for Serenade. Yes, all every single Royal Caribbean ship, Dave, supports uh, online check-in via the app. So Becca wants to know what 
uh, is the best time to arrive at the port if you're in a suite. Usually, Becca, you still got to do the regular check-in time, but usually the suite concierge will email you like a week before your cruise to let you know that whatever time you got, you can do plus or minus an hour from that time. That's for suite guests only. Wait for that email. But that's been my experience every single time I've been in a suite, Becca, since the restart. So, uh, I know where's about the typo there, Dino. Uh, Randy, thank you for the super chat. Uh, hey, Matt, do you think the new terminal in Galveston will be ready for its first sailing in November? I, I do, uh, Randy. Um, and uh, the reason I believe that is based on some of the construction updates I've seen from the port of Galveston and the fact that I've already been invited by Royal Caribbean to go down there for a press event in November. So I'm feeling pretty good about those chances. Yeah, I, I definitely do. Pinky and the Bear, thank you so much for the epic super chat. Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't see a message from Pinky and the Bear. But I will keep an eye out because that name, uh, no no forgetting that name. But thank you. Some people just do the super chats. Thank you really much. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Patty says, I've never cruised before, but what does one do with the valuables when hitting the beaches? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, what we do is we just put, first of all, we, don't say, as we try to limit the amount of valuables we're taking, number one. Number two, we usually have a bag with us and we'll put it in the bag somewhere. Basically keep it out of just like sight, right? We'll put it in the bag, put the bag underneath the towel, put the, t put the towel and stuff, you know, basically do that, right? Occasionally, most of the time, someone is usually back at the chair with the stuff, but we try to keep it with an eye, eye distance of where we are. But I've had pretty good luck with it. There are some things you can buy like on Amazon, Patty. Like there's like these like locking bags that you can do. I mean, that you tie to the chair and whatnot. I've had, I mean, maybe I'm just, you know, been lucky and, but so far it's worked out for me. So hope that makes sense. Uh, let's see here. Next question is, uh, Mark says, what's Mofungo and why am I going to eat 12 of them? Mofungo is fried plantains with usually some sort of a, uh, protein mixed in like either chicken or pork. Uh, actually, if you really want to go, it's a, it's a Puerto Rican dish. And if you want to have the most authentic Mofungo, you've got to go for pulpo, which is Spanish for octopus. I have not done that. I go for chicken personally, but it is a awesome food, man. Awesome food. What is your unbiased review of Hooked? Well, I don't eat shellfish. So like half the menu, like, like three quarters of the menu, I can't eat even if I wanted to. So um, my unbiased opinion is there's not very much, there's not a whole lot for me there. The stuff that is there is fine, nothing great, but I'd rather go to other restaurants. So uh, Shammy74, thank you for the super chat. We're going to bring 25 people on a cruise. Is there a group rate? There is. It's actually based on, and this may be too late already, Shammy. But the way that groups work with Royal Caribbean, it's not so much the people, it's the staterooms you book. But in order to get a group rate, it's not a group rate. You get, here's how it works. It's kind of confusing. So there isn't a group rate. Let me back up for a second. If you've got a group, which you definitely do, if you have at least eight cabins, you can uh, form a group. Now, the thing is, in order to form a group, number one, you have to do this before anyone books a room. Usually through a travel agent, you go through the group's department, and they allocate you those eight cabins, right? And then if you fill up those cabins, you would then it would work but if you're already booked you might not be able to do so but step number one sham if you haven't done this yet is work with a good travel agent before anybody books get a travel agent get them on board with you get them to set up the group space and then you work that in there and then when you book it whoever's the leader shammy it's called a tour conductor so basically who's the lead on it i'm gonna guess in the situation maybe you that person for every block of rooms you get you get a certain amount of money back towards your uh, towards you. Now, you could use that money and pay down your own room, the theoretically getting a free room. You could use that money and give everybody some free money back. You could use it for a variety of purposes. Um, the amount of money depends on the type of rooms they're booking. So if everyone's booking like super duper suites, you're going to get some nice money back. If everyone's booking inside rooms, you're probably not getting that much money back. So hope that makes sense. It's a good, good question. Uh, Todd wants to know when will Starlink be available on Royal Caribbean ships? Right now, they're still just testing it on Freedom of the Seas. Todd, let's be let's remind everybody here that while we here at RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com have done onboard research of Starlink, no joking. I mean, we really have. I sent Nicole to go check it out and 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 test it out. And it works really well on Freedom. Um, so far, Royal Caribbean has not officially said anything about it. They've like they've just been mum is the word with that. Um, so whether or not they move forward with that plan and it remains to be seen, Todd. It's unknown yet at this point, especially from an official standpoint. Teresa Williams. Teresa, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Danny DiMatteo in the house. Welcome. Brenna wants to know, do you have to pay for the escape room on Oasis? You do. 
By the way, I want to go back for a second. Did I miss um, Pinky in the... I said Pinky in the brain. It wasn't Pinky in the brain. I didn't miss it, right? I'm like looking... I feel so bad if I missed it. I'm not Pinky in the bear. I have not missed it. Okay. I feel better about myself. Uh, Teresa, thank you again for the super chat. I don't see a message from you. I'll keep an eye out for you for, for your message. If there is one, if not, thank you very much. JRX, thank you for the super chat. Is Zuzumi all you can eat? No. Um, so there's two on his on Anthem of the Seas, it's just sushi. So it's pay as you go. It's not when you go there, there's no cover charge like a chops. You pay for what you ordered, JRX. So no, it is not all inclusive. Um, if you're doing a carnival cruise and then Royal Caribbean back to back, which is really a side to side technically. Um, you still have to do a COVID test before each cruise. So my advice to you is figure out a way between cruise number one and cruise number two to get a COVID test on. It'll be on you to to to, to uh to handle that, as opposed to like the cruise line providing it for you. Brian J, thank you for the super chat. Uh, can you bring a heating pad on board? Rules say no, but many online reports that they've been allowed to bring one with automatic shut off any insight. If the rules say you're not allowed to, all that means is that other people just got away with it. That doesn't mean it's allowed. And so the answer is probably not. If the rules say, and again, forgive me, Brian, I don't have the prohibited items list. Um, yeah, it's so easy to Google it. Hold on a second. Royal Caribbean prohibited items. If heating pads are on there, then the answer is no. I mean, those are the rules. Just because you can sneak it on doesn't mean make it good. I mean, the reason why they're not allowing it, if that's the case, would be a uh, uh, fire hazard. Yeah, heating pads are not. So um, items that generate heat or produce an open flame. This includes heating pads. It's They specifically call it out, Brian, so it is not allowed on board. If someone else is able to get on board, they, they, I mean, they cheated the system. They, they broke the rules, knowingly or otherwise, um, but you shouldn't bring it on board. So there you go. Uh, let's see here. Next question. Ooh, Luis is the first cruise on Sunday. Nice. Which ship are you going on, Luis? That's awesome, dude. Uh, Karen is going on quantum in one week. Enjoy Alaska. Uh, any tips for radiance in Alaska? Uh, David wants to know, uh, you know, certainly you want to pack appropriately pack layers. That's like number one, um, for sail away, David got to the helipad. So the front of the ship, when you got to that outside promenade deck, walk all the way forward. There's a helipad there. It's great. Uh, I'm not sure if you're sailing away from uh, Seward or Vancouver, but first, but, uh, definitely go out there. See your sailors from the helipad. It's a really, really good spot right there. Steve Cohen just got off Anthem of the Seas. Had a great time. Nice. Uh, what date am I going on alert to Galveston? I forgot the date. I have to look it up. It's uh, November, it's like the first week of November. I forget exactly the date on that one. I think it's a, I think it's a media cruise, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, let's see. Next question. Ryan wants to know, is there any Icon of the Seas news? You know what? There is, Ryan. Here's the Icon of the Seas news. And there you go, Ryan. There's the icon of the season news I can share. <laughs> uh, ST wants to know, Matt, oh, but the case is increasing. Do you think Royal Caribbean will reduce capacity? Absolutely not. I don't think so at all. There's no reason to believe so. You know, cases, remember, from a society standpoint, we're moving on from cases to hospitalizations, right? Cases are going to happen. They're very uh, mild. I mean, even I had a, my, when I had COVID on board Serenade of the Seas, I, I don't think I would consider it a mild case, but it wasn't awful i wasn't incubated i didn't have to go to the hospital i just i just felt really bad it was like the worst flu of my life um and listen uh, unfortunately i feel like i draw the really the, the short straw because uh, a lot of people who have had covid recently especially with this new strain seem to have had it very mildly my friend uh, billy from cruiseabbott.com who's on he's actually quarantined on virgin voyages right now because he has it you know honestly i wouldn't even i guess i mean their their symptoms seem so mild and i wish i had it like that but no they're not going to um so yeah uh, Lisa, thank you for the super chat. Lisa, I appreciate you. And California crew, thank you for the super chat. You guys are very, very, very kind. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Oh, here's California crew's question. Uh, we purchased the only dining package for our cruise on Independence. How much sushi is my husband allowed to eat in a sitting? Well, basically, when you go to a Zoom and you have the dining package, you get $35 stipend per person. Now, that's per person, Cal crew. So if it's you two and you both have the dining package, you actually get... $70 total. You don't, you can pull it together. So technically it's as much as you're going to, if you're going to give him any of that, but theoretically by himself, $35 worth. However, he wants to mix and match anything above that. Then he would have to pay um, out of pocket for hope that makes sense. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you. 
Uh, JG, thank you for the super chat. Do you think a portable hammock would fit on a balcony in a balcony room? Um, I don't know how the, the answer is yes. I mean, I've actually seen it in action. Um, uh, and a good friend of mine, Haley did this years ago. She actually sent me one, which I have no idea where it is, but, um, she, I actually, I've seen people do this before now with portable hammock, meaning, you know, not like the stand, like it's just they hang it up on posts and depending on the balcony configuration, it could work. Um, I never actually went through and did it myself, JG, because it's just a lot of bulk to bring with you, but I've seen it done. Not whether or not it's, you know, legit or allowed or not. I don't know. Ryan, thank you for the super chat. Pair character bowing down saying thank you. Well, thank you, Ryan, for the super chat. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Uh, ST wants to know, do you think Roker will ever bring rollerblading back on? I don't think so. You know, it's funny. They used to have them on the Voyager class ships on the back of the ship where the flow rider is now, that used to be an inline skating rink. I'm going to guess the reason why they got rid of it, ST, is just there wasn't enough interest for it. So, uh, Andrew, thank you for waking up my dad last week while he was napping in the living room while we were watching. You're very welcome. I, I'm, I'm a man of the people here, Andrew. Happy to help. Uh, Aaron Ross, uh, question to come. Okay. Thank you for the super chat. You can just type your questions in here. You don't have to give me a heads up that it's coming. But thank you, my friend. Appreciate it. Uh, tips on Independence of the Seas. Watch our full video tour of Independence of the Seas. We have a full tour here on our YouTube channel. You'll learn quite a bit. You'll have questions answered you didn't know you had by watching the video tour. That's my best recommendation right there. Uh, David Christie, thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Kathy, finally made it live. I've been cruising. That is the only valid excuse for not being in my live videos if, you, if you're on a cruise. So appreciate that. Uh, let's see here. Chuck Egg Arlaw. What a name. Uh, selling October 1st on alert. Do you think the drink package may come down in price again before selling? Maybe, maybe not. But here's my recommendation. If you know you want the drink package, book it now. Lock in the price. The price you book online will always be cheaper than on board the ship. Number two, Chuck, if there is a better price next week, next month, September, you can always cancel and rebook the drink, the drink package on the cruise planner. No penalty for doing so. So book it now, lock in the price. If there is a better price, you can always cancel and rebook. And if it goes up, you got a better price already. Windy City, Jeff, thank you for the super chat. Ever been on a Royal Caribbean charter? And if so, what was the experience? I have not. Not a full ship charter, no. Um, so I unfortunately I don't have any experience with that one. But I've heard some good things about people who do like Monsters of Rock or um, various other ones that I can't rattle off the top of my head. So they enjoy it. Uh, Kelsey, thank you for the super chat. Uh, we want to visit St. John, but the excursions are short, only have 45 minute beach time. We're in a port for much longer tips for doing it ourselves. Kelsey, you know, before the pandemic, this was a lot easier. I tried doing this recently, Kelsey, and I struck out badly. The problem with doing it yourself is it's very difficult to get to the ferry. Um, there's two ferries in St. Thomas that can take you across. One's at Crown Bay, one's at Red Hook. And the problem is where your ship docks, there are taxis, but they won't take you because they're not really taxis. They're, they're trucks. And they just basically want to load as many people on a truck as possible. And since you're probably the only people, the only people going to the the dock, the the ferry, no one wants to drive you over there. And it was a real problem. And we just wasted like an hour, and no one would take us. And so we just said, forget it. We're not going. So my recommendation is number one: if you are going to do it, arrange transportation ahead of time, back and forth to take you. Number two: look at the ferry schedule. Red Hook is a shorter ferry ride, but it's a longer taxi ride in St. Thomas. Uh, Crown Bay, which is downtown where your ship docks, uh, usually has very few ferries. Look at the schedule. Make sure it works your way. Uh, when more recently we went to St. John, we did a Royal excursion. You're right. It's a really short visit, but it was super easy and convenient. So it's like we were able to go, but it wasn't as long as I would have liked. Uh, you got to pick it. You got to pick your battles, right? So that's the issue there, Kelsey. I, I really wanted to make it work um, because when we the first time we ever went, we did it on our own. Went to Red Hook, took the ferry there. It was a fantastic. But um, unfortunately, the, the taxi situation there is no bueno. Uh, let's see here. Next uh, question is from Arnie. Uh, is Park Cafe on the alert? Complimentary. It is indeed. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I see Becky Mankin from MEI Travel is here. Welcome. Uh, Picky and the Bear going on the way September. Thanks for all you do. Thank you so much for your super chat earlier, Pinky and the Bear. I appreciate it. It's a great name, by the way. You might be winning right now for like best name of this chat currently. Uh, any tips on Navigator of the Seas? Uh, yeah, see the ice show on there. It's really cool. It's got drones in there. Definitely a must see. 
Patricia, what's the water temperature like in Cozumel in early February? Pretty warm. You should definitely do the beach. It's the remember the tropics don't really change their temperatures all that much compared to up north. You don't get cold fronts really go down to there. So it'll be plenty warm. You'll enjoy it. Shamming, thank you for the super chat. What's your opinion of the repositioning cruises? If you got the time, it's one of the best values out there. Um, repositioning cruises are usually very inexpensive because it's difficult for people to get that much time off uh, to fly usually one or both legs. Um, but it's a great cruise. Uh, Steve Cohen, who's in the chat here, loves them. Does a great job with them. Really, really enjoys it. So um, if you got the time, boy, is it a great thing to do. You can really get some excellent, excellent pricing on that because there's far less demand there. Uh, let's see here. Andrew, thank you for the super chat. Uh, I'm a TV meteorologist. Would love to shoot a quick, fun video regarding weather and selling with the captain on a way September. Any idea how to request this in advance? Yeah, so I don't work for Royal Caribbean, as you probably already know, Andrew. Um, I would probably reach out to Royal Caribbean's uh, 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 public relations. Um, if you Google Andrew at Royal Caribbean Public Relations, there's a contact form there. That'd be where I would start off uh, getting that ball rolling there. So um, hopefully they can help you out. But uh, that's that's honestly the, the best way to go about it. Thank you, uh, Andrew, for the super chat. I really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, interesting you picked $5.12. Thank you for the extra 12 cents. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, that's literally the definition of a mild case. Uh, no, what I had, mild case is what most other people have. I had, it's, it wasn't a serious case. I mean, you're right on that. But, man, I was out, I mean, I was out of commission, dude. I was not like, this wasn't like, pop a day quill and I, I i was okay i was miserable like straight up miserable I, the idea that i could have done anything on that ship um and enjoy it no I, as soon as i got out of bed I, anyway long story short so i had somewhere in the middle whatever the middle is i don't know if there's a word for it but you're right it's not it's milder i agree with you on that anyway semantics uh, Kristen is wants to know any tips for traveling with kids on a waste. My niece Sophia is coming with her on her first world cruise. She'll be 10 by the time we sell. Yeah, number one, definitely register them on day one for Adventure Ocean. Um, it's like the first day of school, you meet all your friends on the first day. So I'd say go to Adventure Ocean on day number one. That's really important. Number two, um, there's a lot of cool things for kids to do on board, you know, whether you're talking about the water slides, the pool area, the carousel. There's a lot of fun activities on there that they can really enjoy. I think that is gonna be a big part of the appeal of it. Um, and obviously it depends on your niece and what she's kind of looking to do. I mean, some kids really like, you know, like I said, water slides and, and laser tag and very active things. Some kids want to just chill out. Some kids want to play with their friends. Um, it kind of depends on the personality, but the good news when you go on a the good news is when you go on a ship like Oasis of the seas, which has just amazing facilities for kids on board, there's a lot of choices, a lot of good variety there. So Kristen, like it's one of these things where it's like, you don't even have to overthink this one. It's going to present itself for you. Um, but take advantage of all those things. And like I said, Adventure Ocean, at least let her give it a try because it has the new uh, rendition of Adventure Ocean, if you will, that um, that that's a little more uh, create your own adventure. If it, None of this makes sense to you, but trust me on this one. Uh, my kids really like that quite a bit. Uh, on the other end of the spectrum, Dylan has uh, going an Oasis and go, doing a bachelor party. Any ideas that we could be able to plan for the group ahead of time? I would do a pub crawl, Dylan. That's something we always do as a group. So, you know, just basically we're going to meet at this bar at this time and go from, you know, have a drink at each, like four or five bars in a row. You'll, you'll feel good about that. Um, maybe definitely organize some photos, man. You know, do you think, I don't know what motif you could do. But that would be a fun one. Obviously in one of the ports you're visiting, uh, if you're going to a port and there's a good chance of this, that you're going to a port that has Senor Frogs, some memories will be made there. Probably ones you won't remember, but. It'll be right up your alley. Uh, let's see here. Bernard, uh, parking at Cape Liberty. How far is the parking? Right next to the terminal. Really, really easy. Uh, Tangilo, hope I said that right. Thank you for the super chat. Any suggestions on how to get from the cruise port from Rome with no transfers offered? Uh, the train, I think, is what most people do, right? Don't we, most people just take the train, if I'm not mistaken? Uh, Jen from Connecticut, I tested positive for COVID. It's kicked my butt. Yeah, man, I feel, I'm so sorry, Jen. Uh, it. Must be a Connecticut thing. Us Connecticutians, we just can't handle it. Tony G, thank you for the super chat. I'm booked on uh, the JJ cruise in December. First time cruising from Florida. Do you think uh, you think coming the night before should be okay? Yeah, generally, I tell people always, you know, fly in at least a day ahead of time, Tony. And certainly the night before is definitely the day before. Um, I Obviously, no one can promise you one way or another that's your flight will or will not be canceled or delayed. But the good news, Tony, is if your flight was canceled the night before, 
the next morning, they'll probably have a flight for you. Um, I, I don't know where you're coming from. But in the grand scheme of things, yes, day before the cruise, better than certainly the day of the cruise. You have a little more uh, buffer, if that will. And, and shout out to uh, JJ Cruz. They do a great job as well. Good friends of the show. Erica Davis, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Joe from Captiva, hello. Uh, the Teresa McShane, thank you for the super chat. Just a hello from a stoplight. Uh, I I appreciate it. Uh, definitely don't want to be YouTubing and driving, but thank you, Teresa, and thank you to the DOT for putting an extra long red light for Teresa uh, for that. I appreciate you. Uh, Brian, if I have the dining package, how many of the restaurants could I visit in a day? Could I do two trips to Zoom? Yeah. It's unlimited, Brian, as long as you just have to basically get up and go. You know, and when you're sitting at home, oh, boy, well, we're going to do like eight restaurants. Dude, after like one meal, I don't know how you can even think about doing another one. But, yes, you go to as many as you'd like, my friend. As long as they're open, you can go there. Absolutely. Uh, let's see. John, going on the wonder of the season for Thanksgiving. Been watching you uh, to be a good first-timer. Love it, man. Hope this is helpful and, and, and good stuff right there. Uh, Holly, help. Going through post-cruise depression. You just got to Serenade, Alaska. I think I have another one booked in Boston in September. That's the key right there, Holly. Having another cruise booked. You got to, uh, maybe Holly, as a, as a woman, you won't be able to, uh, you won't be able to relate to this uh, analogy, but cruises are like ex-girlfriends. Nothing gets you over the last one like the next one. So I'm just saying, you got something to look forward to to help with that post-cruise blues. Get right back into it, back on the horse, and, uh, and uh, uh, planning another cruise. That'll help quite a bit but i know the post cruise blues all all too well uh anthony harris thank you anthony for the super chat hope i'm not missing oh there's anthony's message right here hi matt uh we finished a great cruise on freedom up next upon arrival coco key we noticed that royal didn't play the coco key theme song has there been a policy change god i hope so i mean i like the song the first 78 times i heard it but man that song is just like an earworm of earworms like when when cruising restarted anthony earlier in in 2021 and i was on those first couple sailings to coco key they played that song like a, as if somebody at royal caribbean makes money on like spotify plays i mean they played it a bazillion times everywhere you went and so i'm okay with this change i don't know if it's a result i don't know if it's a result of um you know guess uh, guess complaining or not but <laughs> yeah uh let's see here next question a lot of questions here in the chat uh kayla wants to know there it is 112 days a little waste of the seas does the ship have an iFly or wonderland uh i fly no wonderland yes concerning if i should have booked wonder for our first cruise instead wonder oh no no no, no. kayla oasis is great and and wonderland and by the way uh oasis or sorry wonder of the seas does not have an iFly either i fly is only on a quantum class ships like um um uh what's it called um like it out it's only on like anthem and odyssey and those kinds of ships right there but Od oasis is great so i uh, please do not while wonder is amazing it's the newest ship in the fleet blah 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 um i i think quite frankly you're not doing yourself a disservice for booking oasis so just uh, uh don't have too much lament about that one erica davis uh first cruise for my mom's 70th birthday the key says one voom internet package for key or is this of this is it for the entire seven days of cruise yes so everybody, Erica, gets the internet package for the duration of the cruise. That is correct. Yes. Uh, well, Tara, I am so glad that you are here. Welcome. It's good to see you here. Always be booked cruise podcast. Back from the dead. Oh, my God. I can't believe Tommy's actually here. Or this could be Doug Parker, who probably guessed Tommy's password of Yankees rule. Um, but anyway, uh, Matt, thank you for the super chat. Matt has a great relationship with the St. Thomas Taxis. Dude, don't even get me started. I mean, I, I shared the PG version of that story. I was so triggered when that happened. I, I mean, we had to go to a bar, and my wife was like, "You need to have a drink. You need to calm down." I was just, I was like, you know that meme from uh, that that old um, uh, uh, motorcycle restoration show with the old guy, and they're yelling, uh, "Father and son." Anyway, I was just triggered, and I was so angry. Thank you for the super chat, Tommy. It's good to see you again. Or, you know whoever is controlling this account, but <laughs> thank you. Uh, Res, there any tips for vegan foods? Yeah, there's actually a vegan menu available on board. So just uh, ask in the main dining room. They've got one for you. All right, I'm really behind in the super chats here, guys. So we're going to have to uh, 
catch up here. First, of all, we got a question from Jen. Uh, there have been people in the Facebook group saying that they have been called to Rokerman to reprice their cruise and being told it's only be able to be done within 48 hours of booking. Did something change? I'm not aware of any policy change. Keep in mind, by the way, number one, that some, certain countries like the UK, you can't reprice like we can in the US. So that's number one. Number two, unfortunately, a lot of people book directly with the cruise line. They get misinformed representatives. So there's that. But I'll put it this way, Jen. I am not aware of any policy change related to the repricing of cruising that I've always talked about here that have been tried and true. So the answer to your question, as far as I know, is no. Uh, next question is from Michael. And thank you for the super chat, Michael. My kids will be seven, five, and two on our cruise. Will they let me be in the same room? What Will they let them be? Oh, in the same room. Uh, the two-year-old, no. The two-year-old will be in the nursery. So there's nothing you can do about that. That's like hard and fast, no. The, the five-year-old could move up to the seven-year-old's group if the Adventure Ocean staff approves it. You can ask for that one. Uh, but you have to ask for that. It's subject to availability. They could say no on that. But at, if it, the way it's written right now, obviously the answer is no. The two-year-old is absolutely not going to be able to. The five and seven-year-old could be if you move one of them up or the other one back, depending on availability. So just ask about that. How do you find about repositioning cruises? Good question. Um, there's a couple of ways. I mean, obviously, a travel agent can help you. If you're at Royal Caribbean's website, I believe they call it one of the filters. There's a filter for repositioning cruises. Um, I believe that's what they call it. But yeah, transatlantics, those are the most common kind, right? Is the Waste still doing a formal night? Yes, they are indeed. Uh, Deck 11 Cruising. Does anyone know if Explorers has got amplified? No, um, it is. it got canceled in 2020. So it did not get our amplification. And unfortunately, there's no plans for it to occur. I mean, eventually it'll happen, but there's no plans on, on that we're aware of. Charles, thank you for the super chat. Wife and I just did our first roller Caribbean cruise two weeks ago. And I have to book our next cruise by August. What's your favorite three-day cruise? Well, right now, Freedom of the Seas. I mean, if you don't mind going to Miami, Freedom is fantastic because it's amplified. Great ship. You're, 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 you're going to love that one right there. Lorenzo, any idea when the COVID restrictions will be lifted? Nope. Nobody knows the answer to that question, Lorenzo. It's not just me. This is like no one in the industry knows that. It's a, a lot of factors involved. Uh, Amy wants to know, can I bring my cigarettes and vapes on board my Karen? Yes, absolutely. You only spoke in the designated areas, whether it's cigarettes or vapes, but yeah, absolutely. Uh, is it more expensive to travel solo? It is, Debbie. You're going to be charged something called single supplement fee, which is what makes it more expensive. You're basically paying for a second person, Debbie, regardless of the fact that there is no second person. It's that's, that's just for the cruise fare, by the way. Once you're on board the ship, like, you know, you only get charged for one person at a specialty restaurant or one drink package, but yeah. Um, <laughs> Collins has said your frogs killed me in Cancun. <laughs> you got that. Uh, Ralph, what was my full time job before Royal Caribbean blog? I was a web developer. Shammy, thank you again for the super chat. Are there plenty of kids on a repositioning cruise? Generally, not plenty. No, are there some? Yes. Um, because of course, you know, I mean, Royal Caribbean is still a family cruise line, but there will be substantially less kids on a repositioning cruise. So, um, I wouldn't expect a lot to be on there. It's just usually Shammy, number one, they're almost always during the school year. And number two, because it's like two weeks, it's really hard to find families who are going to be able to take kids out of there. So the good news is your kids will have like free run of like Adventure Ocean. They'll have like very personalized service up there. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, let's see here. Cruise and racing. When? Do, what do you think about the new Icon Collection really coming up? I am really excited for this. It's. I think it's going to be amazing. I'm, I'm very little information about it, but everything I've heard and seen and read looks to be we're in for a treat. I think this is really going to be a OMG kind of moment there. Um, even Becky Menken will be able to say, you know what? I, I can finally stop talking about the Disney super expensive wish. That is just like the Disney dream and fantasy, but they changed a couple of things and Ooh, it's new. The, the icon of the seas is going to be incredible. Uh, let's see here. Jen, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate you. Uh, we're on ovation this December with an overnight in uh, Maui, ooh, which is tender port. Can you please tell me if the tenders run all night? We'd like to head over for sunrise about 3 a.m. I believe so. I've never done, I've never actually done a tender port that was overnight. Um, I there's usually here's why the reason why I think there will be, though, Jen, is when a cruise ship is in any port overnight, it basically acts like a floating hotel. Like you can come and go as you please. Now, listen, will there I, I can't promise you there will be a tender at 3 a.m. I've never done that. So maybe someone in our chat who has done this kind of experience can tell you. I would expect it to be the case, but I also wouldn't be shocked if they said, oh, between this hour and this hour, we're not going to run tenders because like literally no one's going to want a tender between, no offense to you, you know, up until 6 a.m. or so. So uh, your your best bet 
would probably actually be if they don't, it's just stay on shore somewhere. I don't know how you do that with sleeping, but um, yeah, I'm not sure. That's a really long answer for me saying I have no idea, Jim, but I would expect it to be the case unless it's not. Spencer with the limited dining package. Can you book lunch on embarkation day? Yes, you can. Absolutely. You don't can't book anything. You just show up there. But yeah, I've done this many, 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 many times. Is Voyager similar to Serenade? No, Voyager is much bigger. Serenade is a Radiance class ship. Voyager is a Voyager class ship. So Voyager is much bigger. It has a real promenade. Serenade is a, as a centrum. Uh, they're vastly different, in fact. Both in good and they're different ways. Not bad or good, just different ways. But Voyager is much bigger. So they're not the same class of ships. Uh, Darren, thank you for the super chat. What's parking like at Port Everglades? Leaving on alert from Terminal 18 doesn't look like as close to the terminal as kind of now from Miami. Actually, in Terminal 18, it's even easier because it's a surface lot, Darren. So it's right, like right in front of it. So super easy. Couldn't be easier, in fact. Uh, you should sing the washy washy song for Tony Diaz. Where is he anyway? That's Tony Diaz. Can't can't count on that guy, right? Maybe if he shows up there. Uh, Ethan going on a quantum class ship in a couple weeks. Any tips for first timer on ovation for 30 somethings? I don't know that being a 30 something would have any different tips than a, 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 a whatever Ron Ladowski is. Um, no, but I would check out Ethan. Go to Royal Caribbean blog.com slash Alaska. Royal Caribbean blog.com slash Alaska. All my literally every single tip about Alaska is over there. That's what I would do. Calvin, thank you for the super chat, buddy. Have you ever done a Canada New England cruise? I'm in my early 20s. What's the crowd like to people in their 20s take that cruise? Good question, Calvin. Um, I've not. I was supposed to do one in 2020. Got canceled, obviously. Typically, no. I mean, people in their early 20s, if you want more of a party vibe, I don't again, maybe you want like a lot of people who just you know, go to sleep at seven o'clock or 20 years old. I don't know. But if you're saying I want like the 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 the, the club crowd, they generally don't go out. There will be some. But you really get more of that party vibe on the short cruises, the three and four nights, especially the three nighters, the weekend cruises out of Florida, Calvin. That isn't to say that when you get on board the ship, there's going to be tumbleweed going by and you'll be shushed when you try to sing along to uh, um, celebrate good times. Come on. Like, I mean, it's still it's still Royal Caribbean. It's still a fun atmosphere on there and there will be parties. There will be late night dancing. There will be events for you. So I don't feel like you should feel that way. But uh, I'd be, I think we can, I think it's safe to say that there will be far more early 20 year olds on a three night cruise on freedom of the seas or independence of the seas out of Florida than whatever cruise you got in New Canada, New England, but it's still a great itinerary. So don't look at it that way. I'm just trying to keep your expectations in line, quite frankly. Joseph wants to know my favorite uh, roller coming cruise ship. That'd be wonder of the seas. Just, it's amazing, man. It's amazing. Uh, Keith Rickman. Thank you for the super chat. I uh, appreciate it. I don't know, my voice cracked. I need to get a drink of water. Can you request a Royal Genie? Um, to some extent, you can. I mean, generally speaking, the way you request it, I don't even know who you reach out to. I mean, you have to like call either the sweet concierge, maybe. I have seen people do that. Um, but let me say this, Keith. I, they're all great, um, the genies that are out there. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, I've seen people who have put the request in the reservation. Keith, that's probably your best bet, actually. Now think about it is, you know, whether you tell your travel agent to put in the notes for your reservation, the request, and uh, maybe they'll do it, maybe they won't. But, you know, hopefully they'll be able to do that, so. Uh, Shreya wants to know, is admission to Thrill Water Park worth it? I think it is. Have you ever been there? Listen, it's not the cheapest thing in the world, but, hey, it's fun. I think so, yeah. Uh, oh, Orange County Choppers, that was the show. Man, I'm really far behind in the chat when I'm, we're still talking about that thing I was triggered on before. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Uh, Mark, thank you for the super chat. I found out about the Ultimate World Cruise, which includes Antarctica as one of the destinations. Do you know if we're going to be offering this cruise annually, or is this a one-time only thing? Right now, it's a one-time only thing, but it is sold so well, Mark, that if it goes off pretty well as well, I think they'll make it a, a more of a recurring thing. It's just it is sold so well that it's just hard to imagine they wouldn't. But as of right now, Mark, there's only one on the books, and um, yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Oh, Tony Diaz is here now. Daredevil, thank you for the super chat. Just got to explore the season, going on Icon of the Season when it comes out, whenever that is. Any tips for packages to buy on a big ship and activities to do? Well, we don't know what there is to do on Icon yet, so I can't give any recommendations there. As it comes to packages like dining packages, drink packages, always book it early. Lock in the price. We talked about that earlier in the broadcast, Daredevil. You want to get that price in, lock it in. It tends to go up over time, so get the lowest price you can. And if there's a better price tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, you can always cancel and rebook. So, of course, you can't 
book any packages now anyway because you can't book Icon of the Seas yet. But when you can, that's what you want to do. Uh, let's see here. Do you know... Uh, oh, Danielle wants to know, is the unlimited dining package price charged per day or is it a flat rate per person? It's a flat rate per person, Danielle. Good question. Uh, is the Independence of the Seas going into dry dock? She's due for one, I believe, next year because she had her last refurbishment in 2018. They do it every five years. But when she goes in, M. Roster, I think it's just going to be like maintenance work. Nothing, they're not adding. They just added a bunch of stuff in 2018. Given how Royal Caribbean is doing financially right now, I just don't see that happening. They're going to add more stuff there. We'll see. Uh, Sharon? Sharon, yes. What's the best time to go to dinner so I don't miss the show? Definitely traditional dining, Sharon. So either 5.30 or 8 o'clock because they usually put the entertainment, the shows, opposite that. So if you're in dinner at 5.30, there'll probably be a dinner show. There'll probably be a show at like, you know, 8 o'clock or something like that. If you're in 8 o'clock dinner, there's probably an early show at like 5.30 or something like that. So yeah, definitely traditional dining makes it a lot easier to schedule uh, your shows. Uh, great question here from uh, Dipstick. Well, can I use medical marijuana on a cruise? You cannot. They're actually, it's actually prohibited regardless of if, med if medical marijuana is permissible. Um the place you live or even the state you're sailing from the reason why it's not allowed is many countries in the caribbean especially in places you're visiting do not allow it and you can get in some serious trouble it doesn't matter that it's legal back where you live so the answer is no and that, that applies to thc as well so um it's a good question uh keith bruce wants to know have you been on any royal caribbean sister ships you mean like celebrity or something like that i have not yet not yet i'd like to i'm gonna work on that Ah, Tony Diaz is here indeed. Uh, Patience, thank you for the super chat. Book Mason Jar per my suggestion. You're welcome in advance. On the app charge me full price for my daughter, which should be 10. Is this correct? Um, no, that's incorrect. What you could, there's two things you could do, Patience. One, you could cancel it and just simply show up with your daughter. Number two, when you show up with your daughter and, and they'll charge the kids rate. If uh, option two, and that's what I would probably do is just cancel her out and just show up. The alternative patients, you keep it the way it is. You show up to the reservation. Then you have to tell them, hey, my daughter's only 10. Can I get the kid's rate? And they'll refund you the difference that you already paid back as onboard credit. It's a little messier, a little more difficult. In my opinion, I've done this with my kids. I just show up with my kids. Um, as long as you got a reservation, you're in the system. You'll be good. So I would not worry about that. Uh, Ron says, I remember those, uh, those the web developer days. Your job always interfered with my cruises. Yeah, man, it was, uh, it really did. I mean, the whole like vacation time stuff. So glad I'm done with that. Now I just have to get permission from my wife to go on cruises. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Andrew wants to know, is there a way to find out if my next cruise is a theme cruise? Last one was when it cost extra to see shows. I think it's because there was a charter, a group on board, Andrew. Um, and in that situation, the only way you can really find out if you have a group on board is to Google it. So, if you're on, um, you know, uh, Liberty of the Seas, October 12th, just making up numbers here. Uh, I would Google Oct Liberty of the Seas, October 12th, 2023, whatever, group or group cruise or charter or something like that and see if anything comes back. That's really the only way because Royal Caribbean will not tell you in advance about those kinds of things. Um, what Matt wants to know, what's the minimum you have to put up for Royal Up? It actually depends. Um, it's just uh, when, when you go to do it, They'll tell you, they'll show you the amount. Depends on the cabin category. Eric Moyer, Eric, thank you for the super chat. Big thanks to you and MEI Travel. They said I had a refund and I used that towards the stateroom upgrade. Nice. First time on Freedom September. Nice, dude. That is awesome. Love getting those emails from Royal Caribbean, uh, from MEI. I should say they do a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Desiree, thank you for the super chat. An open cardboard box, the word unboxing. Hooray. Thank you, Desiree. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Fantastic. Uh, wow. I'm really far behind in the chat. Like, I'm Teresa made fun of Tony behind in the chat. Only Tony goes to bed at 7 p.m. Facts. It's true. And listen, Tony will admit to it, by the way. We're not make, we're not exaggerating here. <laughs> uh, Kenny K in the house. Love Kenny. Good to see you. Uh, Teresa says, with, uh, with will there be a smaller ship for seven night cruise out of Galveston? Well, I'm hilarious here. I don't like the bigger ships, but want a longer cruise. Um, I'd have to remember. I don't recall the schedule. I think like Adventure is there seasonally, but Allure is basically replacing Liberty, Teresa. So um, look at it that way at the very least. 
Um, next question is from Van, who wants to know, is it easier to get a table for two with my time or traditional? I mean, to some extent, it's about the same, right? If you're in my time and they don't have any tables for two, you're just going to wait for it. Likewise, if you're doing traditional and you request one, there may not be availability for you for that. I guess to some extent, my time is a little bit easier. I don't know. I've, I've had tables myself with tables for two. You just to put a request in. Here's what you do, Van. If you do traditional, email Royal Caribbean uh, about three weeks before your cruise, RCL Dining at RCCL.com. RCL Dining at RCCL.com. I'll let them know your ship, stateroom, category, uh, reservation number, and your request. Um, otherwise, you show up to the main dining room on day one and ask to speak to the head waiter in the afternoon, and they usually can cater that for you. Uh, Jennifer, if you're doing dialysis at sea, what you want to do, it's really simple. Google uh, Royal Caribbean Special Needs Form. Royal Caribbean Special Needs Form. You're going to find a, a web form to fill out with your name, your information, uh, your, your, your stateroom, all that. And there's actually an option for a dialysis at sea, and then they'll have it on file, and then you'll be good to go. So, yeah, that's my recommendation right there. Clinton, thank you for the super chat. Uh, on Oasis, July 2022. Right now, I can only see 815 my time option on the planner. We prefer 645 or 7. Are there usually more times available once on board? There can be, Clinton. I can't promise you. I was like, well, Matt said there would be. <laughs> but, <clears throat> excuse me, keep an eye on it, obviously. But it's not unheard of. And don't forget, Clinton, by the way, Yes, the reservation is absolutely the way to go about it. You're doing it the right way. So when you get on board the ship, if you don't see it, go back to, you know, go on, see if we can do on board. But there's also a standby line, Clinton. So you could simply show up and wait for a table as well. So don't feel like if you don't have a reservation, you're just, you're out of luck. You have to eat at 815. So um, I would definitely at least make 815 as a backup. But, you know, go in there and, and see what you can find on board. And keep an eye on it. It might change. A hearty yo back to Mark. Uh, next question is from, uh, Cal crew is the concierge service much different on independence than on the Royal genie? Yes. I mean, the Royal genie is amazing. Like it's a very personalized service. Um, the concierge is more of a, it's still great, but it's more of a, um, enhanced guest services, if, if you will. So, uh, Keith wants to know, is the travel insurance offered by Royal Caribbean a good bet or should we look elsewhere? You should compare and contrast Keith. Travel insurance is not like the same for everything. There's different policies, it's kind of like car insurance, right? There's different coverages, different policies. You want to compare and contrast what it covers, what it doesn't cover, costs, and what you want it to cover. So don't just say, oh, Royal Caribbean, that's it. I'm, I'm done. I don't have to think about it. No, you should definitely look into what it covers and how it works. There's a lot of different age, uh, travel, travel insurance providers out there. Um, insuremytrip.com is a really good starting point, Keith. Insuremytrip.com. They break it down, give you quotes, all that kind of stuff. I don't have any relationship with them. I just think it's good service. So, uh, Calvin, thank you for the super chat, buddy. Is there any time on the ship the crew would prefer guests stay in cabins? I'm a late night wanderer. Don't want to get angry at the staff. The only time that would be an issue, Calvin, is sometimes on the cruise compass. He will say we're going to be cleaning the decks at between like 3 and 5 a.m. Stay in your cabin. So other than that, no, they don't care. In fact, they like seeing other people. So they'll say hello to you. Thank you for the super chat. John, thank you for the super chat. On my first roller ring cruise on the 18th and recently discovered your channel. Thank you. Thanks for all the great tips and information in your videos. You're welcome. What's your number one suggestion for a first timer? Book with a travel agent. Too late for that. You're going on a cruise. So either you did or you didn't. Uh, number two, do the online check-in. That's really important. Do all the online check. Get the app installed on your phone. Do everything in there. Get that all set up. That'll set you up uh, uh, really, really well. Uh, and uh, number three, John, re uh, you only asked for one, but you know what? You gave me a super chat, dude. I'm giving you a bunch of tips here. Um, read a past cruise compass. Go to royalcreamblog.com. In our main menu, the link says cruise compass. Uh, I don't know what ship you're on, but you can find a recent cruise compass from the ship you're going on. Get an idea of what's available on board. So there you go. Uh, Bella friend wants to know, how likely am I to cruise unvaccinated? How likely is an exemption to be accepted? Very, very unlikely, Bella friend. Um, I, I think I know of like one person in the last year and a half that's been granted one. Um, extremely unlikely. But I, I, I can't promise you that'll be your chance. I mean, it's, it's the old uh, dumb and dumber line. So you're telling me there's a chance. There's a chance but I would expect it to be extremely unlikely. And they're going to wait, make you wait to the last minute. Don't forget. Uh, time, I'm going to get a, a quick one. Oh, by the way, Bella, thank, I didn't even see you gave me a super chat here, but Bella, thank you for the super chat. Uh, Andrew wants to know, any ideas for Victoria? Um, yeah, do um, 
uh, Butchart Gardens, really beautiful, really beautiful. If you go there, I'd do the earliest tour you can. It gets really busy in the, once the morning drags on. If you can get there super early, I'd recommend that. Or you're there for an evening. Well, if it's open, I go to Butchart Gardens. That's wonderful. Otherwise, just go downtown Andrew. It's a beautiful uh, downtown area to shop and eat and all that kind of stuff there. So, Kevin wants to know, can MEI travel, handle Australia and New Zealand cruises? Yes, they can. They can book anybody, Kevin, from anywhere around the world. Because of our relationship between MEI travel and RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com and because Royal Caribbean Blog is a worldwide you know, uh, coverage of audience everywhere, they can book anybody. But yeah, they can book either a, if you live in the U.S. and want to book an Australia cruise, they can. If you live in, down under, they can they can book you still anyway. Um, the only thing you, you should know, Kevin, if you are book if you are living overseas, is they will charge you in U.S. dollars. But most people I talk to don't seem to have a problem with that. Uh, Dave says best way to to sell royal to a family spoiled by Disney. My wife thinks she will be bored. Oh, it's the complete opposite. Disney has like barely anything to do on their ships. Have you seen? I mean, she's seen it, but anyway. A couple things. Number one, have you showed your wife the price difference? And have you told her the kind of amazing cabin you could book on Royal Caribbean compared to what you could for the same price of a Disney cruise? Have you also showed her the amazing, like, have you shown her Wonder of the Seas, Oasis of the Seas, Odyssey of the Seas? These, I mean, literally Royal Caribbean wrote the book on amazing things and cool things you could do on a cruise ship. Disney is not a leader with onboard activities by any stretch of the imagination. Um, they do things well. But if you're going to compare things to do on board and being concerned about being bored, Royal Caribbean is here and Disney is down here with like Holland America. I mean, it's just, it's a night and day difference. So, um, the, but the price difference, number one, the amazing ships that have way more things to do on board, the innovations, faster internet, unlimited drink packages, uh, the, the much greater variety in itineraries. It's a night and day difference. So uh, let me tell you something. As a former Disney cruiser, I can tell you, 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 your wife will thank you later on. Andrew, thank you for the super chat. How big do you think Royal Caribbean will go with their future ships? It's a great question. I mean, you know, Andrew, if we were having this conversation, you know, back in 1992, when the sovereign class was huge, I'd be saying, Andrew, what the heck is YouTube? Why are we here? It's 1992. What's the internet? But I'd also be telling you these mega ships, which is what they called sovereign class. There's no way they'll go bigger than that. And obviously they did. Um, I think there's obviously uh, that being said, you know, we haven't really seen much in the way like ships haven't like doubled in size, right? I mean, Oasis class is still the biggest, and Oasis class has been out since 09. So we're talking about a fair amount of time here. I think logistically, what with the size they've got right now, that's probably um where it's gonna be comfortable for a while. But uh, sooner or later, I think there's gonna be some sort of innovation with that to really push beyond that. Um, so I think inevitably inevitably the answer is yes. Now, how inevitable? I don't know the answer to that one. But Andrew, thank you for the super chat, buddy. Appreciate it. Uh, Sean, thank you for the super chat. Uh, sailing star class on Quantum from Vancouver to Hawaii in October. Wondering if the ultimate beverage package covers wine pairing at Chef's Table. Uh, the wine pairing at Chef's Table, I thought, is an add-on. No, because there's two prices, right, Sean? There's like the Chef's Table and there's the wine pairing, right? Isn't there? If that's the way it works, then no, you don't like buy the base and then you can get the other one. So the answer is no on that. If that's how that works. So thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Uh, Joe, thank you for the super chat. Couldn't go on Liberty recently due to positive coaches. Sorry to hear that. Managed to book on grandeur in a week. Is there a formal night on a four night cruise? Yes. I mean, it'll be night two. Almost certainly. They don't call it formal night, Joe. They call it dress your best. They do that on short cruise. I don't know. It's the same difference. Joe. The exact same difference. So there you go. Hope you're feeling better, my friend. Uh, Christopher wants to know when is Allure scheduled for amplification because she missed it due to the apocalypse. Uh, there's nothing scheduled currently. AD, thank you for the super chat. No question, still experiencing withdrawal. <laughs> 10 weeks since our last cruise, 16 in the next one. You know what you got to do, AD? Book another cruise between now and 16 weeks from now. That's the that's the sensible thing to do. Your body is telling you, AD, I don't know your real name, but I do know you need another cruise, buddy. So book another cruise and let's let's get over here. So, uh, but I'm glad that these Mondays are helping you out a little bit. Lucia, thank you for the super chat. Do you get paid for ads we skip or if we watch them? Just for you, I will not skip the ads. It's a great, thank you so much. I, and thank you for the super chat. I honestly have no idea. Um, YouTube does not tell me. I, I really have no clue. I do know the more ads you watch, I should be getting more money, I think. 
But I have no idea if skipping ads does anything for my revenue. They don't break it down that way. So uh, maybe somebody else on YouTube knows the answer to that one, but I have no earthly idea. So for now, I give you permission. Just you, Lucia. You can skip the you can skip the ads. <laughs> oh goodness. Uh so you're saying there's a chance. I love that line. <laughs> um Keith, I answered this question earlier for you. I don't know if I'm really behind the chat, but the answer is no. I've not been on Celebrity or Silver Sea or anything like that. Uh, Cheryl, first time catching me live. Welcome, Cheryl. Glad to have you here. Scheduled in February. Awesome. We do this every Monday. So come join us here every Monday. Love it. Uh, LT, LT wants to know, do we still need a health visa to enter the Bahamas? No, that was only for when cruises left from the Bahamas, LT. But for cruises that visit there for the day, nothing, you don't have to worry about anything about that. You're good to go right there. Um, let's see. Shane, it would be the same thing. Any, any of the COVID exemptions, religious or otherwise, are the same thing. They make you wait to the last minute and almost certainly the answer will be no. Just keeping it real with you guys. That's based on experience. Uh, let's see here. Jonesy. Holy moly. Blast from the past. Welcome back, dude. Sorry, I've been gone so long. Well, thank you for the epic super chat. Woo! Uh, booked my first Aqua Theater Suite for May. I forget the details. That sounds like... Uh, that's that's a good sign. When you book so many cruises, you have no idea. Where are we going? What ship is it? That room? I don't know. That's awesome, dude. Love it. Uh, I've done a couple of aqua theater suites myself, and uh, they're great. I mean, they're great. They're, they're paying the butt to walk to because it's all the way down the hallway. But when you get out there, man, the views are amazing. Watch your head. This is my recommendation. If you're ever in an aqua theater suite, there's a lot of bulkheads on that balcony. And I have hit my head like at least three or four times. And it probably, you all understand why. Now you're like, well, that explains why Matt is so weird. But um, yeah, watch your head on the, on the balcony. <laughs> it's my best advice to you there. Uh, Lindsay wants to know, have you used an excursion company not booked the Royal Caribbean? Yes, um, it depends on the port. I don't use like one go-to company. Um, for all inclusives, Lindsay, I always recommend uh, resortforaday.com. I do have a relationship with, I get a commission if you clicked on a link from royalcaribbeanblog.com. But anyway, resortforaday.com. Uh, Viator is another good one. Uh, shorttrips.com. But usually what I just do is Google the port, like, you know, um, you know, St. Kitts, shore excursions and see what comes back there. Look for reviews, Lindsay. Just Google whatever provider, the company that you find google them and look for reviews there so beachy mama what's going on welcome good to see you here welcome uh let's see here maria uh monica this is my first cruise ship with rel i even worked at the port in san juan restaurant guest on the how cool is that that's awesome love hearing that uh next question is from Joe wants to know any idea what the occupancy rate on Oasis have been? 100% or just about 95, 100. They've all, all the ships have been back to 100, basically. Camille, it's good to see you again. Thank you for the super chat. No question this week, but 34 days on my first time on Independence. Have a great week. You as well. Independence is great. Um, that the, the Playmakers is fantastic. It's huge. Really, really nice. Fun Cat Videos. What a great name. Thank you for the super chat. We have a cabana booked for Thrill Water Park at Perfect Day at Coco Key. Do we get our own food or is there a concierge dedicated to our cabana? Uh, there is a concierge. Yeah, you have a attendant who will bring you, you order the food, they bring it, which is great. Uh, is tipping customer? Yes. Um, how much? I know that's your next question, Fun Cat. Really runs the gamut, you know, uh, how many people you have, right? There's, I think there's a, you should be tipping a different amount if you have two people versus four versus eight. Um, but for my family of four, I think we usually tip about a hundred bucks and say that's, you know, Unless, of course, there's reason to tip more, but that's about our going rate right there. But again, just because Matt tips that much doesn't mean that you should tip that much. I'm just saying they'll appreciate whatever you can do. But yes, a tip is customary right there. Hey, Virginia's also a first time live. Welcome. Uh, Wendy, thank you for the super chat. Going on Explore the Seas, eight nights Southern Caribbean. What are the four months on an eight-day cruise? Usually there's two of them. Um, I don't know which nights it'll be. Usually night two. And then whatever sea day you got around night six, whether it's night five or night six. Or night seven, perhaps. Whatever that is, you can bet on it being over there. But two formal nights. Uh, Dennis, do you know I've been getting political pop-up commercials on this blog? Uh, that's because you probably read. <laughs> I don't want to. So the ads are contextual based on your search history, sir. So Becky Menken sees ads for, uh, let's see here, uh, Queen Strike, Disney, and... Um, and Taco Time, that's the name of a brand of tacos in Seattle that I know about. Uh, but honestly, it's, in all seriousness, it's really just based on your contextual 
uh, history. So whatever you search for in your Google history, because Google is providing the ads on YouTube because they own YouTube, I guess you read a lot of political stuff there. So just because you see it doesn't mean other people see it. Does that make sense? Hope that makes sense. Have I ever been on a cruise outside of U.S. Canada? Yeah, I did a cruise out of, uh, let's see, well, San Juan, part of the U.S. I did a cruise uh, out of Nassau in 2021, but I've not done a cruise out of Europe yet. Um, have I done another one? I think that's it. I think all of my other cruises have been out of the U.S. So technically speaking, I've done, well, two, it was back-to-back, um, out of Nassau on Adventure of the Seas back in um, 2021. Thank you, and the bear again with an epic super chat. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, Danny DiMatteo. Thank you, Tone. Uh, Danny. I can't even say your name. Sorry. Tony Diaz's fault. Uh, the spammers came in here. I guess that means we should probably wrap things up. But I will, uh, I'm sure Becky already took care of this one. Uh, CP, thank you for the super chat. Uh, do people, do people, what? Do people, why actually sell on Empress? Well, Empress doesn't exist anymore. Thank you for the super chat, but they sold it off and uh, she's no longer part of the Royal Caribbean fleet. So um, not in Royal Caribbean anyway. All right, we got time for another question or two, guys. I'm going to run out. I'm sorry for not getting to as many questions as I possibly can. There have been a lot of things in there. Um, uh, we've got a couple of questions in here. I know that um, uh, AML has been trying to get this in here. I've been on Grandeur lately. No, I've never been on Grandeur yet, but in terms of how does it compare to other Vision class ships, when she was in uh, Baltimore, people loved that ship. Great crew. I think you'll like it. You've been on other Vision class ships. It's exactly the same, quite frankly. So I think you'll have no problems there whatsoever. Uh, next question is from Adam, who wants to know, what is the best place to get away on the ship? We're celebrating our 20th. We're looking for some private place other than a room on Oasis. Ooh. Uh, the back of the ship, Adam. Go um, on the jogging deck. I know. Sounds weird. Go to the jogging deck. Go to the very back, the aft. There's chairs over there. No one ever there, unless people are jogging by. So that'd be number one. Number two, I would say... Hmm. What is the number? I feel like I'm forgetting something obvious. On, a, on a, I'm like visualizing the whole ship now. Uh, the the um, There's no helipad, but the uh, bridge wing is another good space for you. So, But the nice thing about those chairs in the back and the running track is is that there's chairs you can sit down in there. So, uh, let's see here. Do you believe the first cruise on adventure was almost a year? It was actually more than a year ago already, Stephen. It was it occurred uh, back in June. But it's crazy, dude. How how much time is how much has changed right there? So, I think I missed Pinky's question. Hold on a second. We got to go back. For, our last question will be from uh, Pinky because it sounds like I missed one. Working my way back to you, babe. There it is. Uh, Pinky and the Bear says, Hi, Matt. Just cruise on Oasis in May. Booked for September and booked for May 23. Totally hooked. Very nice. Very nice. Awesome. Oh, we got a, we got a super chat coming in here at the very last minute. So, um, U.S. Army Combat Medic, if you are a veteran, thank you for your service. I said with the RX Army, Celebrity Cruise is awesome. Glad to hear that. Awesome, dude. Welcome. Uh, is Barefoot Beach now open to junior suites? Don't think so, but I'll let you know, Christopher. I'm going there next week, and I'll let you know the answer. So, Christopher, when I'm back from Mariner, ask me again, and uh, I'll, I'll have an answer for you on that one. And, uh, Mike Wolf, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate you. Thank you so much. And on that note, I'm going to head on out of here, guys. Have a great week. We're going to be uh, next week. I will be live. So, next week is going to be tough. Uh, Monday, we'll be at sea, and Mariner's internet is not great. So I think we'll do our live chat on Tuesday because we'll be at lot. Oh, God, their internet's even worse. <laughs> Maybe we'll do it on Sunday because Sunday will be still be in port. I think we might have to do our live chat. Stay tuned. It could be on Sunday. Otherwise, I got to wait till like we get to San Juan on. Yeah, it won't be San Juan. Well, let's do Sunday for right now, but it could be San Juan on Wednesday. Anyway, we'll do a live broadcast subject to internet availability next week. But We'll be on uh, Mariner of the Seas. I'll try to bring in some, maybe some extra broadcasts for you guys. So stay tuned for that one. I'll be doing a live blog over at RoyalCommandBlog.com. And CP, thank you again for the super chat. You think they'll add Flow Rider to the lower? You mean like the Vision or something like that? I don't think so. I could be wrong. I don't think they have the space for it. Um, unless it was like, that's why the Oasis class can fit it in there. So um, Dan Corso, thank you very much. Guys, if I didn't answer your question, there's a good chance of it because I think it's all of them. Please feel free to type your questions in chat by going to uh, royalcrimeblog.com and go, not in chat, 
go to realgreenblog.com, go to our message boards and type your questions on our message boards. And I'll answer as many questions as I can over there. I want to say some thank yous to the, um, there'll be talk to you on Sunday, of course, uh, Ron. Um, say some thank yous to our super chatters today. CP, thank you. Mike, thank you. CP again, thank you. Danny, thank you. Pinky and the Bear, thank you. Wendy, thank you. Fun Cat Videos, thank you. Camille, thank you. Jonesy, thank you. Lucia, thank you. AD, thank you. Joe, thank you. Sean, thank you. Andrew, thank you. Bella, thank you. John, thank you. Calvin, thank you. Clinton, thank you. Teresa, thank you. Desiree, thank you. Eric, thank you. Patience, thank you. Daredevil, thank you. Mark, thank you. Keith, thank you. Calvin again, thank you. Darren, thank you. Jen, thank you. Shammy, thank you. Charles, thank you. Michael, thank you. Uh, Tommy, thank you. Anthony, thank you. The Teresa, thank you. Erica, thank you. Tony, thank you. Tangela, is that right? Thank you. Andrew, again, thank you. Shammy, again, thank you. Kelsey, thank you. Windy City, Jeff, thank you. David, thank you. Aaron, thank you. Ryan, thank you. JG, thank you. Cal Crew, thank you. Lisa, thank you. Brian, thank you. JRX, thank you. Teresa, thank you. Shammy, again, thank you. Pinky and the Bear, thank you again. Randy, thank you. JG, thank you. Sherry, other Sherry, Sherry Andrews, thank you. Josh, thank you. And Desiree, thank you all so, so, so much for your generosity. And thank you, everybody, for hanging out here, talking roll coming with me. Again, we'll be live again most Mondays. Next week is going to be iffy on that because of the internet. But uh, we're usually here live every Monday at 7.30 until our next live broadcast, whenever it happens to be. Have a great week, everybody. Stay safe out there. Do something fun. And we'll talk again real soon right here on... Oh, uh, we can't go yet. We can't go yet. We got You got a 30-second reprieve because Desiree just snuck in a, a super chat. Thank you, Desiree. Uh, Fruity Fred, have you ever been on Carnival? I've never been on Carnival, so I don't know if I like it or not. So uh it's coming up oh there it is i think this is coming up before the alert comes up but desiree thank you for the super chat appreciate it all right guys have a great week everybody stay safe and we'll talk again very soon right here on youtube and jenny we'll see you on mariner of the seas bye everybody